so new film out, uh, Let Him Go, which is a neo noir western uh, adapted from the novel by Larry Watson, about which I haven't read the novel and I knew nothing about the film before I saw it, except for the fact that it starred Kevin Costner and Diane Lane. And I'm actually fans of both of them. Both of them. They play uh, George and Margaret, who are a couple living in Montana. He's a retired sheriff. She works with horses. And their family is then struck by tragedy. They they lose a son. And uh, the film then proceeds in fairly swift uh, form through the remarriage of their daughter-in-law, Lorna, who is the mother of their, their young grandchild. And she remarries this guy called Donny Weeboy. And we know from the outset that he's an untrustworthy type. Margaret sees him across the street, hitting his wife and hitting his child. And then they disappear. And they're not in the house that they're meant to be living. They just bit to, to heaven knows where with the grandchild. And everyone that uh, the central couple ask, ask about the wee boys, they say, look, they are bad news. They're, they're given conflicting in, info about where they can find them. They're told to go you know, North Dakota. So Margaret says, I'm going to go and, you know, I'm going to go and find the grandson. And George says, what, what, how, what are we going to do? This is kind of the whole, they said the title of the thing is Let Him Go. What are we going to do? It's, you know, it's, it's, it's her son. She's remarried. He's got, she, Margaret says, no, we're going to go and find them. So they head off on this kind of journey in which he's grumpy, but he's going to go because she says, if you don't come, I'm going to go on my own. And they go and eventually they find Lorna with the wee boy family from whom they attempt to encourage her to escape here is a clip i know we haven't always seen eye to eye but i don't think we've ever seen eye to eye well we will you're just saying that to make sure that i go with you jimmy needs his mother You could have used one too. I could have been that to you. I should have been. But I wasn't. It's okay. I'm sorry, Lorna. I should have been much more to you. That's Diane Lane and Kayleigh Carter, both of whom are very good in the film. The performance, however, which looms largest over this movie, about which, as I said before, I knew nothing when I went in, which was actually rather beneficial because I didn't know which way the story was going. Um, the performance which looms largest is an unrecognisable Leslie Manville, who plays the matriarch of the Wee Boy family. She's the seat of power. She is the place from which their apparent reign of terror uh, kind of, you know, radiates. And she's really good. And it's a really startling performance, not least because you watch it for a little bit before you go, oh, that's Leslie Manville. The, the film is directed by uh, Thomas Bazooka, who's uh, Bazooka, I think that's how you pronounce it, whose previous credits include a bunch of movies that, in my opinion anyway, gave no indication of where this would be going. And actually, uh, so, some movies that I you know I haven't been particularly a fan of so I was really surprised by how much I was drawn into this it's a strange mix of on the one hand remember there was the thing a few years ago they talked about the rise of the grey power drama you know movies with yes. older subjects I mean people of our age and above and uh, it starts as this kind of drama about this you know it's this older couple and their relationship and the kind of slightly crotchety but loving relationship that they have and then how they're dealing with the subject of grief. And then this central question about, look, what can we do? You you know, let him go. What can we do? And obviously what's really happening is that it's a way of them coming to terms with the loss of their own child is, you know, where, how they deal with the loss of the of, of the grandchild, the grandchild being taken away. But the, the film spends enough time on developing those characters and those little character quirks that when it sort of shows its hand and turns into what it then becomes, you are you have been dragged in far enough to actually care about what happens. Um, I don't want to say a whole lot more. I mean, people, I don't I haven't seen the trailer for it, so I'm not sure how much the trailer gives away. But you get the sense that as they're journeying out to 
to the the remote house in which Leslie Manville's matriarch lives. It's almost like they're going off the grid. It's almost like they're going off the map. You really do get a sense of that. Costner does that world weary cowboy thing better than almost anybody. I know it's become quite fashionable to, to knock Kevin Costner, but he is a he's a movie star with a great screen presence. And he does that world weary cowboy very, very well. There's very good support from Booby Stewart as Peter, who is a character who we meet under strange circumstances, whose backstory then dovetails rather nicely with the central, with the, with the main story. Uh, there's a very good score by uh, Michael Giacchino and um, I'll do that again. There's a very good score by Michael Giacchino. It's one of those things that Michael, I always pronounce his name wrong. And actually, if you look at Michael Giacchino's uh, Twitter account, it actually says this is how it's pronounced. Um, very good score by Michael Giacchino. And it's very nicely lensed by Guy Godfrey. But the, the, it really caught me off guard because I hadn't expected. I Firstly, I hadn't expected it to get as strong as it does. I hadn't expected it to become quite as dark as it does. And by the time I realized where it was going, I was already on board with the characters and I was on board enough that the stuff that then played out. And it is true that as it moves on, it, it moves more into the area of, you know, melodrama and perhaps overstatement. But by that point, I was in anyway. So I thought it was surprisingly impressive and moving and a little bit surprising. And uh, anyway, it's called Let Him Go. And uh, it is apparently in cinemas, if you can find it, obviously, what with everything that's going on. But it's well worth checking out because it's it's a much, much more interesting film than I'd expected it to be.